Parents were angry. We reported on it, demanded change after their kids were dropped off at the wrong bus stop. Hard to even fathom, but tonight, Fort Worth ISD is finally answering questions. CBS 11, first to show you the video, the confused and the frightened kids as they were being forced off their bus in an unfamiliar neighborhood. Our Caroline Vandergriff explaining how the district now plans to handle the problem. That video actually sparked some tense moments at tonight's school board meeting. Several families showed up to demand change and accountability, saying their children are now scared to ride the school bus, even though they don't have a choice. This is the wrong stop! Let's get him off! CBS 11 was the first to show you this chaos on the school bus as stunned students from Dackett Elementary are forced off the bus in an unfamiliar neighborhood. The video left parents outraged and mobilized a movement for answers. The excitement soon changed to horror as they were dropped off and left screaming and crying not only at the wrong stop but the wrong intersection or the wrong neighborhood. Parents told the Fort Worth ISD Board of Education Tuesday night it's happened at least four times in the past month. Something's got to get done. This is unacceptable. The response I'm getting is I'm short staffed. I don't want to hear it. My kid needs to be taken care of. Her safety is number one for me. If it's not number one for your bus administration, then they need to get they need to go. When this mom tried to play the video of the drop off for the trustees, Staff cut off the microphone. Turn your microphone on. But the move sparked outrage in the audience. Toby, let it play. Let it play, Toby. This happened to kids. Let it play. 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 New superintendent, Dr. Angelica Ramsey, ultimately escorted the group of parents to another room and met with them privately. We as parents are not going to sit back and accept our kids be put in harm's way. We as parents demand that something change to make sure these types of things don't happen. Less than an hour ago, the board did approve a new cell service contract to give them the ability to use the GPS tracking devices already installed in school buses. We're told they're trying to develop some sort of app that will allow parents to track buses in real time. They hope to roll it out in the next few weeks. In Fort Worth, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.